Barney, a four-year-old pug beagle cross, was hit by a bus yesterday and his leg is severely damaged. It's all right, stop getting stressed. I was walking him and we were on our way home and he was on a long, like, retractable lead. We had a bus that sort of comes around where we live and it just spooked him. Before I knew it, he was out in the road and I just couldn't retract the lead quick enough. Basically, the bus wheel caught his back leg and it, it, it basically went straight under and it was leg against tarmac. I was just distraught. I was distraught. He's our third child. <laughs> and we've got two children. They absolutely adore him. And that was probably the hardest thing yesterday for me was to tell the kids. The damage to Barney's leg is so bad, he may have to have it amputated unless Noel can come up with a solution. So I've seen the X-ray pictures from your vet. This is, oh, yeah. this is what we saw. This is the first time I've seen them. Oh, OK, OK. What's happened here is that the leg was trapped yeah. under the wheel and dragged along like so. So that's a cheese grater tarmac along the inside of the ankle. Yeah. Because that width there is about 60% of what it should normally be, meaning that we've lost 40% of that bone. Right, OK. That's a major, major injury. We've lost what we call critical tissue mass. Now, we're, we're still in what we call the golden window, where bugs may or may not turn into infection. The real risk here is if it got infected and I had implants in there, then they could get infected and then you could lose the leg anyway. Not until Noel assesses the wound will he know what chance he has of saving the four-year-old's leg. He sounds like he's going to be like the bionic dog. Do you know what I mean? I know, yeah. At last, he's well enough to be reunited with his family. He'll be excited, but he wouldn't be, like, running about and that. No, cos he can't, can he, because of his leg? It'd be licking, wouldn't he? Do you think it'd be Plenty kiss of licks. That'd be giving you kisses? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, this has been a massive, massive endeavour, but I'm really happy with the way things are today. This ankle now is very, very stable. I'm really pleased. I think it's, it's going to change the way I do other cases in the future, oh, actually, really? because uh, there's real potential in this. So Barney's legacy, see what I did there? Legacy. <laughs> you didn't even get that and you're laughing. You're my best sidekick ever. <laughs> yeah, he'd laugh at anything. He'd laugh no matter what. Yeah. It could, could be awful and he'd still laugh. <laughs> Barney's <laughs> legacy could legacy. give a legacy <laughs> to, <laughs> thump, to other dogs in the future. Are we ready? Come on in, Darby. Look who's here. Hey, mate. Hello. Hello. Now, come on in. Come on in. Come on in. We, we can take this off if you want while you say hi. Hello, Darby. He's gone through so much in what is basically a really short amount of time, but having Noel sort of take him under his wing has totally put my mind at rest. I oh, know. Oh, baby. Yeah. You're nearly there now. You're tantalisingly close. So there's still part of me that thinks, oh, if only I'd, you know, pulled the lead back a bit quicker, but it's, you know, it's it's done now, and it's, you know, we're all about going forward. All right, big fella. There we go. Well done. Now he's safe on Daddy's shoulders. Well done, mate. Good boy. <laughs> yeah.